Okay, engine stop. Neil Armstrong speaks out the magic words. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Hate to be a spoil sport, but the first words ever spoken by a human being on the surface of the moon were not Houston Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. The first words that ever were transmitted from the surface of the moon were these. Okay, engine stop. APA at a descent. Out of descent. Boat control, both auto, decent engine command override off. Engine arm off. Port 13 is in. Kind of funny, really. The first confirmation we had that man had landed on the moon didn't come from the guys that landed on the moon. It came from Houston, Texas. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. And then in utter silence, Neil Alden Armstrong, age 38, and Edwin Eugene Buzz Aldrin, Jr., 39, turned to each other, smiled, and shook hands. Now, they were too far away. They were way too far away to hear that avalanche of sound, that roar that shook the windows when tens of thousands of Americans who'd been sitting breathless out on the grass in Central Park rose to their feet and let go with the kind of cheering that I have not heard before since. Now, preparing for this four-hour special podcast on the 50th anniversary of that amazing night has given me kind of an unexpected gift because it relieved me of a serious and worsening pain I've had as I got older. It has hurt me. It has actually crushed me, really, to see that more and more people believe that this event never happened. In fact, to be honest with you, it really pisses me off. But putting together the material for this four-part podcast has made me realize why so many people feel this way these days. Look, if the moon landing were presented to me the way it's been presented to them, to most people these days, namely something that just kind of parachuted into our lives one day, then landing on the moon would have seemed like such an incredible feat, a near miracle, and therefore tough, if not impossible to believe in, especially when people point out things that, while easily explainable, don't seem to make a lot of sense, lack of stars up in the sky, for example. But none of us who grew up in the space age had any doubt about it, and we still don't. And that's because we have what people born after the moon landing lack, and that is context. So in part one of our four-part series, I hope to show people who were not there just how matter-of-fact landing on the moon was to people like us, because nothing that happened from a 4th of July bottle rocket to one small step for man was really much tougher than the step that came before. 